Uh, after that, we got Alex Marvez trying to interview Lance Archer and Jake Roberts as they sort of arrived. And Lance just ignored him and stormed into, well, grabbed Marvez and stormed into a locker room and dragged Marvez in with him. And effectively saying, I'm not going to talk to you. My actions are going to do the talking. And he beat up everyone in there as Jake the Snake sort of told Marvez off camera all the all the brilliant things about Lance Archer. It was amazing because this is where Lance threw a guy through a ceiling. <laughs> It was just a locker room. He threw one guy just into, like, you know, like the wooden locker. It's not like an actual, like, metal locker, but just like the wooden uh, sections. Threw one guy into that, like, big booted another guy, took another guy, threw the roof. It was hilarious. And then I think he took the same guy and then chucked him in a bin afterwards as well. It was, it's just brilliant. Like, I, the, the, uh, the way they portrayed Lance Archer since he's debuted in AEW has been fantastic. Like the whole thing when they had the, the vignettes when he was in the ring in the middle of nowhere and just beat up like 30 guys around a ring mm. and him now just beating up guys in a locker room and just putting them in bins and through roofs. It's just, it's perfect for his character. It's really, really effective. Yeah, I guess he's a name that we can add to these people who lost their first big match. He had this mm. excellent build through the TNT title tournament, but Cody beat him. So Lance isn't of the same like level as he was before, but he I don't think he's lost anything. No, they've done I a really he's... good tactic of keeping him out of the way, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I still <laughs> think he's probably... He might be slightly lower than where he was before, but it is only slight. It's definitely not been a massive drop-off after his TNT title loss. Mm.